Hello everyone here with my PE 580 introduction video. Uh, my name is Ruben Oliveira. Uh, the first question, where did you earn your undergraduate degree? Uh, I went to San Diego State University where I got my kinesiology degree and I also played on the men's soccer team there. Um, what are my strengths in the area of wellness and fitness? Um, so my strengths would be I guess in the fitness area. Uh, I've been like I said, I played soccer, Division One. I. I actually played a couple of years professionally after that till I had a, a pretty bad injury that put me out for a while. Um, so I know how to work out and get in shape, the strength training and endurance. I've also been coaching varsity soccer, um, boys soccer for a while now, um, and done very well. Uh, just getting them in shape every season and the off season we've done a lot of a lot of weight training muscular strength and endurance training uh, plyometric training interval training like soccer's definitely constant running at different speeds so the interval training helps a lot um, area of weak uh, my challenge area would I would have to say the nutritional aspects of wellness um, and definitely learn a lot there um my favorite vacation oh boy i've had a lot of good vacations costa rica was great um germany for the world cup in 06 was great uh, i love my parents are from the azores the portuguese islands i try to go there every three three or four years uh but my favorite trip um would have to be 2004 I uh, went for the Euro Cup in Portugal, uh, Euro Soccer Cup in Portugal, uh, where they were the hosts and they made it to the final. Uh, went on that trip with my brother and two of our best friends. Um, started off in Portugal and then went to Barcelona and then Ibiza and Rome, Venice, and then to Holland, and then back to Portugal for another couple of weeks. We were there for six weeks, so you know, that was an awesome experience. Uh, so I'd have to say that was probably the best trip. Uh, and then my three expectations I have for myself during the course. Well, I see that we're going to have to um, work out and get in shape, which is great. Couldn't have come at a better time. Um, I have actually haven't been working out much for the last couple of years. I had a knee surgery. I had my knee scoped because of uh, cartilage damage in January. And before that, about a year before that, I had a bone spur in my heel because I kept playing on it with the, I had Achilles tendonitis turned into a bone spur. So it's been a couple of years where, and off and on, really the only exercise I've been getting is basically some mountain biking and a little bit of weightlifting, but it's been pretty depressing when your doctor tells you you can't uh, play soccer anymore, any high impact sports. But I ended up getting a stem cell injection in my knee, which actually went pretty good. I went three weeks ago to my the doctor that did the injection, and he actually told me I can go back to regular activity, can play soccer and everything again, which is pretty incredible. But So I'm pretty motivated to start getting in shape and losing some weight, getting my legs back and strength back so that I can play again. Or at least be out there with my uh, high school players and kicking the ball around. So I really couldn't do that at all last season. Um, speaking of soccer, my soccer season is coming up. So another expectation is to um, keep up in my classwork. Um, if we try to stay ahead, it's going to be tough. Because uh, it's always tough when it's work and soccer season. But now i got classes on top of it. So I'm definitely going to have to uh, use my time management skills and try to keep up with the class. I'm sure I will, but you never know because everything's pretty crazy during the season. Um, my number three expectation, basically, to learn as much as I can about fitness and wellness. I would think um, not only for to pass on, but just personally. Um, and then to pass it on to my parents. My dad has some cardiovascular heart problems so anything I can learn to pass on to him would help 
Um, but I think that's about it. Uh, can't wait to watch all your videos and get to know you guys. Thanks.